Hey folks, welcome back to another video to address the elephant in the room. We're in a pandemic and there's lockdown. But you're an IB student. You're already socially isolated. And your exams aren't coming. They aren't coming. They got cancelled. May 2020, your exams got cancelled. But as usual, there's a lot to be done even without exams. And so here are some websites that may help you during this very stressful and crazy time. There are many websites. I've used many of these websites myself. First of all, let's talk about Coggle. Coggle is a website where you can make mind maps. Here's one I made for English, Lang and Lit. On a free account, they give you three diagrams or three mind maps, but you could always save them as a PDF or as a picture and just delete them on the website, make new ones. One thing I really like about this website is that you can collaborate on mind maps. A few of you can get together and work on one mind map, print it out, share it with each other, and ta-da, you've got notes. This next site is quite well known, but just in case you don't know, it's Grammarly. Grammarly is a website where it can help you check for grammar issues, check for spelling issues, and all that. They also have a Chrome extension that you can add that will greatly aid in your writing. That will just make your life much easier because it will attach itself to any text box at all. If you take a subject like ESS, Geography, History, or any subject where you need to collect case studies to write an essay in the exam, the Instagram page called Balance the Ballot is a great place to go. While scrolling through Instagram, just read through some stuff and it may help you in the exam. You never know. If learning by flashcards is the way to learn for you, then you should try out Quizlet. Quizlet is a site where you can make your own flashcards or you can look at flashcards made by other people in the community. On Quizlet itself, there are many sets of flashcards made for the IB for many many subjects made by teachers, students, a multitude of people. And you can look through those and see which one is suitable for you. If they're not, then you're more than welcome to make your own for free. They also have an app on your phone so you can always revise on the go. Not that you'll be going anywhere, but like just in case you're like traveling to your bedroom to the kitchen, you can like still look at, you get it. If the way your teacher is teaching you doesn't make sense to you, you can turn to YouTube to be your teacher. There are many channels out there that specialize in certain subjects. Personally, in my own RB experience, I use YouTube for IB chemistry and IB math. I went to Richard Thornley's channel and Mike Sugiyama Jones for chemistry. And I went to Revision Village's IB Math for IB Math. If you take either Biology or ESS, you can look up The Amazing World of Science with Mr. Green. I took ESS and this website was a blessing when it came to revision. This website works really well as notes because it's not as comprehensive as a textbook, but it gives you what you need to know in order to answer questions. There's also a page full of IBESS terms that you may find useful. You can also make those into flashcards to help you memorize them. There's also this website called IB Academy, which provides quite comprehensive notes for physics, chemistry, math, business and management, biology, history, and economics for all levels. For all of these websites, I've linked them all in the description so you can just go scroll through and have a time. If IB Academy notes are less of your style, then you can check out IB Revision and Resources. It's a site put together by a student and they have compiled notes from many, many different subjects. And you can go look through there and see which of those notes will help you best. Now let's get into some under the table stuff. Like I'm not supposed to talk about this in terms of like ethics and stuff, but like as a broke student, you kind of need these. The IBO actively tracks and takes down these websites that host past exam papers. And because of that, sometimes these websites that I'm about to mention, they come and go. Your best bet, in my opinion, would be to either download these exam papers and textbooks and anything you may need right now, as soon as possible. Other than that, you can also Google around to see what you can find or hop onto the IBO subreddit. 
either search there or request for that resource. There was a petition that happened three years ago, which I will link in the description, where it petitioned for the IB to release all of its exam papers for free for all schools. You can go to give it a read, maybe give it a second wind. I'm going to name three websites. The first is Exammate. If you go to its topical past papers, you can find papers for biology, chemistry, physics, and mathematics. I like this website because you can access past papers without necessarily downloading them. If I was on my phone or if I didn't have access to my laptop, I couldn't download something, I would use this website and do past papers from there. However, on this website, if you are not subscribed, you will only get past papers up to 2014, which as it is sorted by topic could really help you with strengthening your knowledge in a certain topic, for instance. The next website I'll mention is freeexampapers.com. Here you can download full PDFs of the examination papers, but it won't be the most recent ones. And lastly, the holy grail of IB examination papers and a lot of other documents is ivydocuments.com. It has everything from notes, study guides, books, exam papers, question banks, anything you may need to study. However, this website will also go down at any moment when the IBO decides to crack down on it. So as mentioned just now, download whatever you need as soon as possible. If you want exam questions specifically tailored for IB physics, there's the Great Gorilla that's pretty good for specifically IB Physics. Now still staying in the vein of under the table stuff, there's this website called Sci-Hub, which I'm not gonna say anything about it. Just just look. Just look. I'll put things on the screen. Just look. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. I'm sure now a lot more of you know about this because it was featured on that release chapter of this book. Post it on a Smart IB app Instagram. Now let's get out from under the table. If you're using this time in the lockdown to work on your EEs and IAs, there are websites like the more well-known Google Scholar or the less known Microsoft Academic. In a previous video, I mentioned EasyBib, which is an extension that you can add to Google Docs. An alternative to that will be Citation Generator, which is a citation generator. Who could have thought? It's easy to use, just requires you to put in the link or the title of the book that you're trying to cite, and it just generates a citation for you. A lot of schools now are starting to take their classes online, which is great, but if your school hasn't done that yet and you feel you can't be productive by yourself at home, you can join the International Baccalaureate Discord server. There you can revise with other students, you can ask for resources, you can take solace in the fact that you're all in it together in this crazy time of the world and IB. As I said before, all these links will be in the description below and feel free to go scroll through and just click through and see which one suits your fancy. 